coming up in Ms. Tastic. anytime hundreds of different art lessons directly to your home perfect for families and classrooms hi there I'm Mr. Tastic and today we're going to be making art inspired by mermaids uh, mermaids is, they come from a myth uh, and they are a creature that has a tail of a fish but a upper body of a human or person and Mermaids are real big fans of music, so they music, so they like to sing often. Um, there are lots of good stories about mermaids and lots of stories that are kind of scary about mermaids in mythology. So there's lots of different ways to interpret what mermaids are and what they might be like. So we're going to go ahead and head on over to the art studio where we're going to draw a mermaid and then we're going to make a mermaid watercolor painting. Let's make some art. All right, we're gonna do a cute mermaid. All right, cute mermaid. You for the face. Two lines down for the Two lines up for the arms. Back down. And then we're gonna do a big curving line up and around. And back around. Okay, so we got basic shape. So now we're gonna do two curving lines up. Zigzag to connect for our tail. And we should add some texture, right? We're gonna add detail to make it visually interesting. Right, we want people to look at our designs. We'll add our fingers. If you wanna make it really much more like a fish, you can do webbed fingers. That might be interesting. You can make yours, uh, if you want to do a cute mermaid, you can do cute, you can do kind of a Scary mermaid, you can do whatever kind of mermaid you want. Okay. Curving line for the tail. We'll add some curving lines for scales. All right, this texture makes artwork interesting. shirt. Maybe there's a necklace, a pearl necklace. You can add lines on the shirt for texture. And then we can add whatever kind of hairstyle you want. Now, I think we're underwater, so usually we have our hair down, but if you were floating underwater, your hair kind of floats up, doesn't it? So, you know what? We're going to do things different. We're going to change it up because the mermaid's underwater and your hair kind of moves upward. I'm going to have my bangs moving up here. I'm just going to have my hair floating up with the water because that's when you look underwater at people, your hair just moves everywhere because there's less gravity. Well, 
feeling. It's moving in the water. There we go. Okay, we'll add a nose. You can add whatever kind of style nose you want and a big wide smile. And then a circle on either side for the eyes. And then I like to add a smaller circle in each eye and color in the dirt of the eyes leaving those little circles white. Now you can choose to add eyebrows or not, it's up to you. And you can choose to color your mermaid in any choice colors and dark make mediums. I shade my pearls with a pinky or skin color. And then you can color. Cut. Cut the skin, whatever skin color you want. And again, using any art make medium. And you can paint your hair, not paint, but color your hair. <laughs> Any color. I think I'm gonna do purple hair. You can do whatever color you want. It's your choice on your art. That's why art is fun. Just make it up as you go. That's what I do when I'm drawing for you. I don't have an idea. I just write down what I'm gonna draw. And then I make it up right in front of the camera. So you get to see me design it and think of it right on the spot. And if I make mistakes, you'll see me figure them out. Because we all make mistakes. So mistakes are okay, they help us learn. I learn a lot from making mistakes. So when you make a mistake, you gotta go, yes! I made a mistake, I'm so excited because I'm gonna figure out how to fix it. I have a problem to solve. I'm gonna invent something right on the spot. But it's so exciting. All right, we got a cool blue purple hair. And just like that, cute mermaid is done! And now we're ready to make some mermaid watercolor paintings. Let's make our mermaid. Let's draw our mermaid's head. We're gonna lightly draw a body. I'm just using my black wax crayon. We're just gonna space it out or map it out here with the two curving lines like this for the tail. So we're just mapping it out. Okay, we're gonna add our tail on and firm up our tail lines. Wavy line to connect to the body. We'll have lines, uh, two lines on either side for our arms. <laughs> Add your We'll add a shirt for your mer person, 
mermaid, merman, whatever you have. Add some lines in the fin. And then you can add the hair. I'm gonna make mine floating up. And I'm gonna add some curving lines. For some hair texture. Oops, I forgot face. Nose, eyes, smile. Okay, let's add some water. I'm gonna water it down. Let's paint the clothes. Paint the fin. Then you can pick a skin color and paint in the skin. choice hair color. And just like that, your mermaid Well, my friend, that's it for this episode. If you have completed these artworks and you had tons of fun, please give this video a big thumbs up to show your appreciation and subscribe to this channel. If you complete these works and you snap a picture uh, with your phone, whatever device, make sure you so share them to social media and take me at Ms. Artastic or use the hashtag Ms. Artastic so that I can check out your completed works. As well, if you're looking for some more art ideas that you can do at home or in a classroom, 
grab my free guide up here. It's super easy to download and check out lots of different art ideas that you can do at home, anywhere, anytime. And if you're wanting to access my art lesson library full of hundreds of different art lessons, make sure you head on over to artastickids.com and join the Artastic Kids online membership so you can make art anywhere, anytime, on any device using some really fun art mediums. See you in the next episode.